going through your mind when you went out there? Don't fall. <laughs> that was going through my mind is don't fall. I held on to Christian a lot. I think that helps. helps. <laughs> Did you have bruises? I, uh, none that I'm willing to talk about. <laughs> we started off as dance partners and we actually just got married. So <gasps> Congratulations! That's thank you, thank you. Searching for a dance partner, I was mentally somewhere thinking if that person would ever be a possible... I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> I was only looking for a dance partner. I just want a dance partner. So, but it just, just turned into something well, and... Yeah, I, I, obviously, but... Do you see how he's blushing now? <laughs> That's a long partnership. That's a long-term partnership. There's some marriages that don't last that long. So what's the secret? The wife is always right. No. The wife is <laughs> no. There's the key to happiness. Happy wife, happy life, exactly. right? It's like in tango, if I'm angry at him, it's because I'm real angry. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Actually, when I dance my best is when I, su I am super mad at him. That's when I deliver. When I felt your arm first time, I felt like this is it, yeah. Oh, see, it was magical. We argue a lot, and I think it's part of the, what keeps us going, because I like to prove him wrong, and that, you know, what it's never happened before. I prove him wrong all the time. Well, I don't know about him, but I'm still in the honeymoon phase, so. Well, it does help, doesn't it? Other things to do, but I would dance all day long if I could. I really, I don't think he would have me. I think um, she, I don't have to see her every day. I was begging her for so many years, still not. No, he's a great gentleman with me and um, he's a great partner, really. <laughs> I'm telling only good things now. I know that Italians have this uh, kind of like a temper and, you know, like the passion. So um, does that show up in the partnership? Yes. What is your favorite dance? I think my favorite dance is the waltz. Yes, it's I can see that. Very beautiful, very soft, and it's the first dance, and I think the most important dance. Yes. My favorite today was Viennese. Yeah. What about you, Greg? What do you think? Mine is always tango. I never give up on that. Yeah. It's always tango. Melanie, what's your favorite dance? Foxtrot. I, I think so. You're right. When I watch you, Foxtrot is just something you feel. It's just so sassy, and I can do whatever I want with it. See, she's the sassy one. Oh, I love ballroom dancing. I also love golf, but ballroom dancing is my new passion. Actually, ballroom dancing helps my golf. Well, there you go. See? All of my students are self-motivated. I have such a crazy group of people, and uh, it's really sometimes difficult to deal with that. Do you do anything special, anything besides dancing? Uh... Other than go to the gym every day? No. <laughs> go to the gym every day, that's your answer. Yeah, you really have to. I mean, Healthy eating, staying fit, cross training, we do. Do you do cross training? Oh yes, we both work out at the gym. Michael got me started on gyrotonic. I do Pilates, I lift, watch my diet, all those things. He likes his, you know, Xbox, I like my TV shows, then we come back together and make it work, so. I still cannot get over how close you guys are in terms of like your size and height and weight. And you just slipped her like she's just a feather. Technique. Well, she is a, she is a feather. <laughs> I do work out every day and um, my work is physical, so that helps. What's the secret? I eat my Wheaties. <laughs> I'm so glad you said that. <laughs> I actually country line dance. Uh, yeah. Well, there you have it. Right I brought my cowboy boots and everything. I'm loving this. <laughs> I'm not a big yoga fan. Actually, I feel like it overstretches me. Um, and I don't like Pilates either, but I do take ballet classes. I've done ballet my whole life, and I really enjoy that. And I go to the gym and walk on the treadmill. And But again, if I have spare time, I'd rather dance. And plus, I'm German, so I like the nitpicky parts. <laughs> And I really like working on the details, and I never get tired of them, ever. Uh, Nashville, for me. Yes, yeah. and I live in Atlanta, so we commute all, commute all the time. So I come once a month, probably, for lessons, yes? Yes, and we also did our bronze routines, because it was actually open, but he only did his bronze. So what's the strategy? You only see each other once a month? That's how you get better? Actually, yes. Our last competition was Las Vegas. And after that, we haven't seen each other since then. No. So we just came and we competed. This is your first competition of the year? Yes. yes, it is, but we're going to start practicing again tomorrow. Yes. We usually meet three times a week, 
and we will dance like two lessons each time. Commute three times a week and now you move to Chicago just for your partner. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> that's incredible. That's a commitment. This is what I'm talking about, people. We, we are here for, for dancing. That's what we do basically all day. No day off and uh, I, I have to say that hard work is paying off. Was it hard to come out of the holidays and get back into the swing of things? Oh, not so much. We were busy during the holidays dancing. You were practicing during ho This is what I'm talking about, people. You practice during the holidays. And this is the results you get. You win the championship. And it seems like for you guys, two, two months, and that's it. Did you know each other before? Um, nope. <laughs> no. Not at all. But we're both Ukrainians. Yeah. That's the only yeah, thing. So, yeah. Ukrainians. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Zimleki! <laughs> and I'm Hungarian, so I'm really close. They have like mutual border. <laughs> Practically neighbors. Nashville, we love you. You are the best. Thank you so Thank much. You. It was Thank such you. a pleasure seeing you here. We love <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>